Hey you guys, so I have recorded a video um, for a haul that I did and I don't know, for some reason it didn't save in my phone, so I'm going to redo that video and I feel like I'm like all up in the camera and I'm going to show you some stuff that I bought today. Um, I guess we'll start with the video I already had recorded. Um, I had some Kohl's cat. I mean Kohl's cash, what am I even talking about? Victoria's Secret, the little angel reward card. So I got this, it's leopard print with the little gold vs and then it has the little um gold stud there i thought it was really cute so i got that for free um bath and body works had a two for 24 um three wicks and i got two but there i forgot to grab them i got watermelon lemonade and a guava one so i got those two i'm currently melting one um and then they gave you a free hand soap, so I got this one. It's in Island White Pineapple. It smells so good. And then I used a coupon from Retail Me Not for in-store only, and they took an additional, I think it was like 25% off. So I got both candles and this for like $15. I was like, yay. Um, let's see. I also finally picked up the Went Wild Fair Trade Coffee Color Icon. And I know a lot of people have already hauled this, but I was excited because I finally got it. Let me swatch the colors. Hopefully you guys can see that. The lighting sucks right now, but I had a few minutes, so I decided I would record the video. I've been using this um, like a week and a half already, almost two weeks, and I love it. So I'm really happy with that. I was glad I finally found it. I hate the fact that a lot of Wet n Wild stuff is limited edition because... You fall in love with a product and then they don't have it anymore. Um, so yeah. So yeah, I got that. Um, let's see. I had picked this up before. Um, it's NYX's Radiant Finishing Powder. Um, and this one, I, it's in one, Brighton. And I had purchased this before, um, but for some reason, Sorry about that. Um, I had picked this up before, but for some reason, I don't know, I couldn't find it. I went crazy looking for it, and I think I only used it like two or three times. I used it just to um, highlight and uh, like a finishing powder, I guess. It just has like a translucent shine, but yeah, I think I got this for like six dollars, six or seven dollars at um, Target. I have been using this. I'm not really a big fan. There's, I mean, I know BB creams aren't supposed to have, like, coverage. It's just, like, real light. Like, more like a moist, tinted moisturizer. But this doesn't really do anything for my face. So, I'm like, uh, I don't know. It's in medium. And it says it's got tone correcting complex. It's really, let me see if I can, it's really watery. I don't know. Let me see. It looks really dark. Hopefully you guys can see that. But it's not. It, I mean, it doesn't even... I don't know. It doesn't even cover redness at all. It doesn't do anything. Like, it doesn't even feel like I have anything on. I don't really feel like it moisturizes. So, I'm not happy with that. Um, I picked up some more of these Wet n Wild lashes. These are the ones that I think are 99 cents. Um, I have a bunch of these. Because I'm doing a giveaway right now. And I'm going to throw a bunch of these in there. These are Shredding the Fringe. And I really like these. I mean, for only being 99 cents. Because I have used the e.l.f. ones. And the e.l.f. ones suck. Like, the band is just horrible to work with. Um, another thing I picked up was this Wet n Wild lipstick in Nouveau Pink. And it's just a real pretty hot pink. I'm trying desperately to get out of nudes. Since it is spring. And here it is right here. Real pretty fuchsia color. Um, some more lipsticks I picked up are these NYX Butter Lipsticks. I picked up one in Hubba Bubba. And it's like a real peachy pink. And then this one in Razzle Fiesta. Let me swatch these for you guys. Wow, Razzle Fiesta looks exactly like this Wet n Wild one that I picked up. And I have used these already. I've used them like two or three times. Like I said, I've just been like piling stuff up. 
Here's the um, Hubba Bubba. You can barely see it. And then here's the Razzle Fiesta. See, they kind of look exactly the same. Um, I also picked up... Sorry, my baby's right here. I also picked up um, some lip liners by NYX. I have a few of these already, but I wanted to get into more pink colors. So I picked this one up in hot pink. And it's just a really bright pink. I thought it would look cute with these colors. And then I picked up one in pinky beige. And these really are waterproof because if I use just like a regular lipstick, like the lipstick will smudge off and I'll still have the lip liner on. Um, I also picked up, um, they had these color tattoo pigments at Dollar Tree. I picked up one in Barely Brazen. Um, I did try it on my eyes as like a highlight just under my brow bone. It didn't really show up. It was like super shimmery. So I think I'm just going to try and use it as a um, face highlight. Here's the color right here. Let me um, swatch it. It's really pretty, but I just don't think it works for me anyway. So you can barely even see it. I'm sorry, guys, about this lighting. Um, it just doesn't look like it would work for me for an um, eyeshadow. Um, I also received this from Physicians Formula. Um, it was, um, I took the packaging out. I had one a giveaway they had, and it was for the, it's kind of like the Yonique, the Fiber Lash. I tried to use this twice. It says you have to put the Eye Booster and then the, yeah, it's called the Eye Booster Instant Lash Extension Kit. And this is a mascara, and then you put the, um, the little fibers on. The mascara is really nice. It's really thick. And you only need like one or two coats. But these fibers, I don't know, they just make a mess. I don't know if you guys can see that. And like, I'm barely tapping. And they're like falling off. And it just, I don't know, it made a mess. When I used it, I had like black like all down here on my cheeks. I did not like it at all. Um, I mean, I know it was free. But I don't think I'm going to be using this. And if I do, I'm just going to use the mascara by itself. Not with the, um... Not with the fibers. Um, today I went to Walmart. I hate Walmart because it's never stocked. And the people are rude. And it's just gross. I don't like to deal with Walmart. But I went today because I needed to pick up some stuff. And um, my daughter, my one-year-old, broke my um, face powder. And I couldn't remember which one I picked up. I just remember that it was um, in the gray container. I know it's the mineral wear. But this one said that it is for... Um, acne prone skin or if you have breakouts and I still have breakouts occasionally I hate it so um, I wanted to try this one and it says it's smoothing firming and lifting in a 16 hour and I love the packaging on these and I picked this up in the color beige and here's the packaging it's really pretty it reminds me of the Mac aquatic um, collection the way it has the little waves so yeah, that's the powder, and then you get the little, um, oops, the larger kabuki brush. So yeah, I was excited to get that. I think this was like $12, $13. And Physicians Formula is really the only powder that I've ever used. Um, besides Rimmel, that, um, Stay Matte, it's really the only ones that I use. Um, and then I was so, 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 so excited because I finally found the Wet n Wild Contour, um, palette and I picked this up in Dulce de Leche they had both of them actually but this one looked more my skin tone color if I can get this open sorry you guys I mean I know a bunch of you already have these and I know a bunch of you already have swatched these because I've seen them on Instagram and I'm like seriously because I feel like they've been out for like months and I just now got them but here is that and let me swatch Ugh, they're so pretty if I have room on my arm. That looks really pretty. It looks like it's going to match my skin tone good so it won't be too much of a deep set contour but it's right here. Um, and I went to Walgreens because um, a YouTuber that I follow on here that I'm subscribed to, um, Alexis Jade I believe, had said that Walgreens had a Real Techniques clearance and they had like the, um, the sponges 
and a lot of the brushes on sale and she posted that she had got um, the beauty blenders real techniques beauty blenders for like 99 cents or 2.99 or something like that so I went and of course my Walgreens didn't have anything so I just picked up these um, oil blotting sheets in the little dollar section and these are marked down to 50 cents so I got these and then I picked up this cute little um, pumice, a little pumice stone 